Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Beta FPV HX100 SE, a lighter 1S version of the HX100 which I've recently reviewed. Just like the Beta FPV Meteor 65, the HX100 SE is using the new BT 2.0 connector. It comes with a single Beta FPV 300mAh 1S LHV battery which is using of course the new connector so you better get some extra batteries a 35 degrees flexible camera mount and a female GST 2.0 to a male BT 2.0 connector that will enable you to charge your batteries. The weight of the HX100 SE is 28.5 grams, so even after adding a battery, it is lighter than the HX100. In addition, the wheelbase and the proportions of both frames are identical, however, the thickness of the bottom plate of the HX100 SE is 1.8 mm and the thickness of the unibody button plate of the HX100 is 2 mm. In terms of components, the HX100 SE is using 1102 13,500 kV motors, 65 mm props. On the center of the quadcopter, you can find the same all-in-one flight controller which is being used on the Meteor 65. It came pre-flashed with Betaflight 3.5.7, features an integrated 5A 4-in-1 BLLES ESC, and my version came with an integrated FR Sky SPI RX receiver. The Meteor 65 and the HX100 SE also share the same pretty thin canopy. Underneath, mounted inside a 25 degrees camera mount, you can find the Beta FPV M01 camera, which is connected to a 48 channels VTX that supports smart audio and has a fixed output strength of 25 mW. You should note that even when the flight controller is going to be powered up only via USB, the VTX is going to be powered up as well, so don't leave it on the bench connected to your computer for too long. Now by the way, I just got the Beta FPV C01 Pro camera, which is going to probably replace the M01 camera, and hopefully soon I'll be able to compare these cameras side by side. Setting up the HX100 SE is identical to the Meteor 65 since both quadcopters are using the same all-in-one flight controller. So if you'd like to know more about the setup procedure, you can check out my review of the Meteor 65 in this link over here. I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage of the HX100 SE and overall I can tell you after flying it that this little thing is very fun to fly, it's agile and fast, and in terms of flight time, you can expect between 2 to 5 minutes using the included 300mAh-R 1S LHV battery. In case you're debating whether to get the HX100 SE or the HX100, personally, I would go with the HX100 SE since it's using cheaper batteries, and even though it is much lighter than the HX100, it still shows with it pretty similar flying characteristics. Having said that, the advantages of the HX100 over the HX100 SE are that first of all, it is using a much more robust canopy, it features a better FEV camera, and it has a much stronger VTX, so if you'd like to get farther, the HX100 is going to be a better option. So I hope you will enjoy the flight footage, and as always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.